Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Today on Rihanna's Cuisines, we're gonna be making banana bread. And for our banana bread, we're gonna get started right away. For our banana bread, I have a, one stick of butter, which is room temperature. And you wanna have it room temperature because if you, you're not gonna be able to handle it if it's right from the refrigerator. I've got half a cup of sugar, I've got half a cup of brown sugar, two eggs, one and three fourth cup of flour, four large bananas, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon, one teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of uh, vanilla essence, and half a teaspoon of allspice. And then I've got one cup of pecans, and I actually bought these um, this way, came this way from the um, grocery store. So they're, they're baking, they're used for, you know, baking cookies and stuff, so I didn't have to chop them up. So well, let's get started, and we're gonna be using a loaf pan to put our batter in when it's done. And the, the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And make sure that that is done before we put the uh, our bread in. So let's get started with our butter. I'm gonna put my sugar in here, my white sugar, and I'm just gonna cream my butter and sugar um, before I add the brown sugar. So now we're gonna add, just until it's um, combined really nice, we're gonna add our brown sugar in there. We're just gonna let that incorporate just a little bit. And while that incorporates, I am gonna add two eggs in there one at a time. I'm gonna break it into the bowl because I just wanna make sure that you get a good egg and you don't get one that's bad and then you have to throw the whole batter out. Second egg goes in there. I'm gonna stop my mixer because I wanna mix everything together. So I'm gonna stop my mixer. Bring it down. Just wanna make sure that everything is mixed properly. So I'm just gonna come around and get all the, the bottom out. I'm gonna put the lever back up, mix it just a little bit, and then we're gonna add our bananas in there. All right, we're just gonna mix it just a little bit. And while that's mixing, I'm gonna well, actually, it's done mixing, so I'm just going to stop it so you can hear me because I'm sure that sound is so high. Um, we're going to mix all our dry ingredients together. So we're going to do start off with our salt. Baking powder. Baking soda. Allspice. Just give it a good stir. Okay. And then I'm going to turn my mixer back on to very low speed on stir so I don't look like a snowman because otherwise all the flour is going to come on me and we're going to have a blooper. And I don't want a blooper, so we're just I'm just gonna start adding it very slowly. I 
uh, use Old Spice is just smells so good and tastes fantastic. A little bit different from just adding cinnamon in there. Wow, it smells great in here already. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add my vanilla in here. And I'm gonna just turn it up just a little notch here on two and let it mix really well. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna put about a three fourth of this mixture and then I'll, I'm gonna save the rest and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the rest. So we're all, we're all done. Stop my mixer. I'm sure you can hear me now. Uh, move the lever down. And I'm just gonna scrape the spoon. I don't like waste, so we're just gonna scrape our spoon really well. And give it a good stir before we put it in the pan. All right, so I'm gonna come back here. Now, I like a surprise in my um, banana cake, a banana bread, I'm sorry, I always think it's a cake. So I'm gonna move everything so my camera guy can come over and show you exactly what this is gonna look like. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come back here, and I'm gonna add a little bit of my pecans on the bottom. All right, and I'm still gonna leave half of that for the top. And we're just gonna give it one quick good stir. Oh, the banana smells so good and the allspice, oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna add all our mixture in here. Top it off with the rest of our pecans. There we go. Just level it off, make sure the, the sides have the mixture in there. There we go. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rest of my pecans, I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. So we've got a layer of pecans on the bottom, we've got pecans inside, and we've got pecans on the top. Can't get any better than that, friends. All right. So I'm gonna stick this in the oven for about a minute, uh, I'm sorry, an hour and 15 minutes. When we come back, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna cut it and we're gonna see what it Welcome looks back. like. My banana bread is out of the oven and I let it cool. It took about an hour and 20 minutes. And again, it's gonna depend on your oven, you know, how long it's gonna take. You just wanna make sure that you check after about 60 minutes to see where, you know, if you shake it and if it's a little um, moving in the middle, you just wanna leave it in there and let it cook. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take a toothpick and just insert it right in the middle. And if the toothpick comes up clean, that means your banana bread is done. So I did not take it out of the pan because I wanna show you how beautiful it looks on the bottom. So we're gonna just, and I, oh, look at that. Look, look at that. You've got, you know, all those little pecan pieces in there. So you're gonna get the pecan pieces on top and you're gonna get the pecan pieces on the bottom. Look at that, oh my gosh. All right, now, very important, very, very important. If you're gonna make a homemade banana bread, don't spoil it in the end with using just a regular knife. You need a serrated, serrated knife or you need a bread knife and you want the knife to do its work. You don't wanna be pushing down on it. So let's go ahead and cut a couple pieces up. And it, again, it's, it's still a little warm. I'm sure you can see the smoke, so it's still pretty warm. But we're just gonna, I just wanna show you um, up close the pieces up close here 
if my camera guy can see um, do you see the so you see how moist this cake is it's got you know you can still see the banana pieces in there and then we've got the pecan pieces again the top and the bottom and it's just an amazingly amazingly soft and very moist banana bread I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. I hope you can join me here on the next episode with another great recipe.